Okay, so hello, this is Dr. James, and here's an interesting little heater you could use to heat things up. You um, have a mason jar and some aluminum foil and some sodium hydroxide. Okay, here we go. I just stuck some aluminum in there. Ah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Hydrogen flames coming off of it. And the aluminum heats stuff up too. It's pulling the high, uh, oxygen out of the water. The aluminum is the main driver of a thermite reaction, and it is so powerful it can pull the water right apart and create pure hydrogen. Look at that. The flame's coming off that. I'll show you how to do that in one second. Okay. Very cool. Danger. Warning. Do not attempt this experiment. Hydrogen gas is very explosive. It can explode in the jar and cause shrapnel. Sodium hydroxide is extremely caustic. Dissolves skin. If you get it in your eyes, it can blind you permanently. This experiment could very easily explode and shoot hydrogen or sodium hydroxide in your eyes, on your skin, in your house. And if you have the thing on fire, could catch things on fire. Danger. Warning. Do not attempt. Okay, don't, don't say I didn't warn you. Here we go. Okay, so I have a mason jar. I wanted to get something clear so you can see through it better. With reverse osmosis water in there. Let's clear this up a little bit. And um, here is some InstaFlow. And the active ingredient in here should be now, sometimes they don't put the active ingredients anymore, but it should be sodium hydroxide. Okay. Sodium hydroxide. See that? It contains sodium hydroxide. So let's, um, I probably shouldn't even handle this with my hands. Let's see. Come on. What the heck? Ah, got some plastic melted onto this. Here. Oh my god, they must have got hot. Anyway, let's take a look in there and see if we can grab out some sodium hydroxide and stick it in the water. Okay. Looks like it's all clumped together. Probably want to use safety goggles. You don't want to splash this stuff in your eyes either. It'll probably burn out your eyes. Okay. And sodium hydroxide is very caustic, very strong base. Not sure why it's not dissolving. Oh, wait, I think it's starting to dissolve. I think I did a video before where. You put it in the water and it would produce a lot of heat because there's a uh, heat released when uh, the sodium hydroxide d dissolves. Let's see. Yeah, see it's starting to fizz, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. This is not Alka Seltzer though. Okay, I think I'm going to put some more in there. And then we will test this out with the aluminum foil. Yeah, let's see. See if this stuff will eat it up and produce some hydrogen for us. It should be very cool. Okay, so turn off some aluminum foil and kind of folding it up, and crumpling it up, and uh, making sure it fits in there. And I think it's kind of neat. I haven't got a back flash yet, and I think it's because the hydrogen kind of comes out. See if I can grab onto this thing without burning myself. I'll use these to do that. There we go. Look at that, so cool. So aluminum goes in and it just pulls the water apart. And here we go. We put the, the lid on there. And you can see the steam coming out. And uh, just kind of set this top part on here. That kind of directs all the gases up into the center. So we have a, Ventura, a very 
uh, small surface area for the gases to leak through, so it probably won't burn back inside. Oops. Oh, there we go. So cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Look at that. It's like a blowtorch coming off of that thing. Oh, that is so awesome. And there's a lot of heat here. I can put my hand up here. Yeah. You can feel the heat coming off of that. Just want to be careful it doesn't crack the jar and shoot sulfuric acid and explode hydrogen gas all over the place because that could be a problem. So I don't know how safe this thing is, so I don't recommend anyone building this, but. Oh, that's a cool experiment, though. Way cool. Look at that. Lots of burning hydrogen. Very awesome. Yeah, it's real simple to make. Oh, <laughs> looks like a scorch in the top. I better sh shut it off. Okay, did I mention that sodium hydroxide is very dangerous? If you get it in your eyes, you'll go blind. Uh, sodium hydroxide water is extremely dangerous. Don't drink it. Uh, if it explodes, it gets on you, it'll burn your skin. It's a very dangerous thing to do, so I recommend not doing it. Let me do it. Leave it to the experts, right? Okay. Anyway, very cool device, though. Anyway, science is so fun. This is Dr. James, and thanks for watching.